So where are we? We're at, heading into Carlisle. In half a mile, bear right and follow the A69. In 200 yards, bear right and follow the A69. In 200 yards, turn right onto the A7. Yeah, so we're going to Carlisle Castle. We're booked a 10 o'clock time slot. It's 9.47 now. <laughs> Two minutes to go. No, we're not panicking. <laughs> Turning left, so we're turning left along here, yeah. I think you have to sort of double back on yourself. You do, yeah, there. you have to go down to a roundabout, don't you, and come back. Yeah. There's the castle. I think you need to be in the outside. You are approaching a junction, the junction is your destination. Thank you. Thank you. So the castle is uh, on the right. You have to go down to a roundabout and rack back around the roundabout for the car park. It's a huge car park. There's a big there? car park, there's plenty of room for motorhomes. Yeah, you've got to watch people uh, not realising that you're going right round the roundabout there, haven't you? If you have to pay. You do, yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, came here New Year's Eve last year and it was closed. Well, it was supposed to be open. Quite a windy day today. Pop is off. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, there's a bit of a one-way system going on. The cafe, did you say the cafe was open? Between 12 and 4. Oh right, okay. In the barracks, there's a museum over there, isn't there? Yes, yeah. Go on, this way. All right, we're here. Good morning. Good morning. Can I do my hands? Yeah, yeah. You've got two dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two. I'll have two dogs and a camera. Oh, you got it. All right, girls, you're going to do your hands. There's water here, girls, if you want some. Don't have too much, Pops. Yeah, leave some for someone else, won't you? That's nice. Yeah. Go on then. Yeah. Just wait. Wait. The steps are narrow, aren't they? Wow. This is the captain's tower. Uh, that's the entrance of the castle's inner courtyard built during the reign of Henry II, uh, 1154 to 89. He was king of England and also ruled over great territories in France of Duke of Normandy and Aquitaine. And also Count of Anjou. Ireland. Yeah. He also invaded Ireland. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This old tower of plays. Little one here, little room here. Come on, come on, in here. Poppy sized room. You see how well preserved this castle is, don't you? Yeah, yeah, there's a military base, isn't there? Yeah, this one still is a military base. Yeah. All right, sorry, you just overtake everyone.
Oh, so I've got wooden floors in here. You see, there's been a sort of a barracks room, can't you? Yeah. Yeah. Puppy, just a minute. Can we just have a view over the wall? Yeah. They've cordoned bits of it off to keep the one-way system going, haven't they? But, uh, Tower here, isn't there? Yes, this is the um, tower. A big tower. <laughs> Thanks. The key. It's an like eagle eyed. I knew, I knew I didn't know. <laughs> eagle eyed might spot that's a big tower. Yes. Yeah. Eagle eyed might have spotted we've got the wrong leads on these two dogs. Yeah. They crossed over, didn't they? Yeah. Back. You see what a view you would have had. Um, I think so. I think it is. Scottish Hills. Cumbrian Hills, I think, back there. Yeah, yeah. The trouble with Tara's lead is I can only just about <laughs> fit my hand in it. I know. It's a quiet life, That's the courtyard where we came in. getting fairly pulled around here. Anyone think you haven't been to a castle for ages? Isn't um, Mary Queen of Scots Tower somewhere around here? Yes, I think it's Isn't it this? I thought it was I thought it had been destroyed. I thought it was in this corner. Thought it was actually here. Was it? I think so. Where she was imprisoned. Yeah. Big guns there, Pot. Very, very windy up here at the moment. Wow. Well. Do get a good view round. Like a sloping floor here, isn't it? Oh, good job we brought our coat. Tainers in a big circle round, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, because I think before we just, I just came up here to go. It's like a, oh, it's a well. Look. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Diamond so proud. Look in here then, in the in the big tower. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> too busy filming and not noticing dogs trying to cut your leg off. Like well, if you can't go that way, you've got to follow the arrows. Well, you haven't got the hang of this, have you? Okay. How was the castle used? Officers' mess, parade ground. Barrack blocks, covered drill shed, hospital, stores and ball court, magazine, militia store, Queen Mary's Tower. That's it. That, I was right. That was in the corner. Was the corner there. Yeah. yeah. 
the keep, which is used for stores, which is where we are now. Yeah. Quartermaster, the main gate, the exercise yard. It was used in the First World War. So this is the Great Hall. So King David of Scotland ordered the completion of the keep at Carlisle during the 1130s. The castle was a royal palace, garrison of some 25 men, including knights and crossbowmen, ate and slept in this hall. The commander was called the constable, occupied the chambers on the second floor within the thickness of the walls. There is also a kitchen, guard, guard robes, the lavatories, and a oratory, a small room for prayer, where David III died, oh, sorry, David I died in 1153. So it must have been part of Scotland then. Oh, it was then, yeah. 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 Carlisle Council's a long association with the military. So There's a regimental depot of the 34th Cumberland and 55th Westmoreland. It was combined in 1881 as a border regiment, which was based at the castle until 1959. So on 12th of November 1918, troops of the border regiment celebrated the end of the war by burning an effigy of Kaiser Wilhelm II the top of a bonfire at the castle square. The regimental band marched around the castle playing the tune John Peel. <laughs> oh, right, yeah, yeah. So that was a wartime. So 23,000 recruits passed through the castle between 14 and 18. It housed 500 men in barracks at the castle and a further 700 men in tents at the nearby Pitts Park. Bits Park. It was a place of processing troops quickly before they were sent on to the Western Front or other fronts in the war. Oh, a bit of a processing centre there, wasn't it? Yeah. It says, so it was a home guard as well. It was a local unit of the volunteer training corps, the equivalent of the home guard and the labour corps. She does like to do these castles at speed, doesn't she? Poppy, wait. Wait till you What's this then? Well, this is uh, used as a storeroom now, but it was a prison oh, from here. See. Can't, see. <laughs> can't see anything. Hang on. To do this on the phone because there's low light on the GoPro is not particularly brilliant. So, what are you saying? Oh, that's fine. These were now were used as storerooms, but previous to that, they were used as prison cells. And during the Jacobite Rising of about 1745, yeah. there, I thought there, there was something up to 900 prisoners kept in, here, kept in here and the one next door. And they had hardly any water, so they were sort of like There's in the stones oh, right. and all crammed in. Wow. So it must have been pretty, absolutely awful. Pretty gruesome. Yeah. Plaque up on the wall up there to Elizabeth the First, 1577. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. Right there. Imagine that's an oven or something. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah. So it must have been a building here. Isn't there, T? Can you see? Oh, oh, for us. That's it. No, she didn't fancy that. There's an oven. What's in there? That's where we could do with Tara cam, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. There's a fireplace. Yeah, Tara, there's one here. No, you're not going to do it now, is she? No. I'm sure this is the tower. Let's, uh, yeah, let's have a look. There she is. So the original 12th century gatehouse was probably on this site. <laughs> it was rebuilt around 1308 for Queen Margaret, widow of Edward the Edward the First, as a yeah. fine three-storied tower housing secure private chambers. So Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned here from May 
to July 1568 attended by 30 to 40 servants and numerous ladies in waiting. During her captivity she was allowed to walk on a playing green towards Scotland and her retinue playing football on it. Thereafter the tower was named after and it was demolished in 1834 but its footings survive and the semi-octagonal octagonal turret which housed its spiral stair remains to the neighbouring block, one jam, the side post of the fine doorway which led to the ground floor remains as does the passage leading to the Dacre Postern, the gate in the south curtain wall. So is that that stair then? Really? Yeah, so that's the remains of the stairs, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so there obviously was a gate or a door here, wasn't there? Yeah. Let's go down here. Deep old steps, these. Mm. These are gun batteries, aren't they? So you could shoot at people coming up there. Yeah, so if people got in there, you can shoot at them there. Yeah, good. Yeah, so we're going to go and have a look at the museum. The cafe is open 12 till 4. So the museum over here. Rather rush there. Did I? All right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go in. Yeah. An impressive chap, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. The muskets and machine gun. Right, and the bonnet on it was. Yeah. Formed a square. Aren't they? Yeah. Some of the uniforms are impressive, aren't they? Yeah. Hats. Mm, the Crimea campaign. Taken from Sevastopol Opera House, that uh, okay. eagle thing, yeah. It's got drums, aren't it? <laughs> yeah, it's always drums. And that shield here. Milton shield, decorated with images from Milton's epic poem Paradise Lost. It was made in silver by the French goldsmith and sculptor Leonard Morel Ladoux in 1866 and I exhibited at the 1866 parish exhibition. There's a lot of these uh, sort of storyboard things here. didn't have enough men to cover such a huge country, so he set up chains of blockhouses to protect mm. lines of communication, such as roads, bridges and railways. These use the same idea as Haitian so war. This is the Boer War. They needed relatively few yeah. soldiers to man them. So some of the arms are a bit more recognisable now, aren't they? Yeah. The first battalion was one of the first units sent to reinforce a small British garrison in South Africa in 1899. Fought many of the major battles during the 18 months of the guerrilla war that followed. 
here, that's a German Mauser bolt action anti tank rifle. It's fired a single 13mm armour piercing round. A bipod similar to the one was mounted under the wooden stock. So it's an anti tank rifle. 23 is the Maxim gun captured by Sergeant Edward John Mott. 1st Battalion Border Regiment in January 1917 in Northern France and he was awarded a Victoria Cross for capturing that gun. Yeah, I'm sit down then. Uh, yeah, I'm going to sit down, okay. What about you? Yes, <laughs> you look young. Saying they reduced the battalions to peacetime levels during the in, interwar years. Yeah. But they were still in places like uh, Italy, Ireland, Malta, Sudan, China, all the places they'd gone. In the Second World War. That thing there. That gun. I think so. 30, no, what's it say? 30. 30. It means yeah. of a long, oh, it's part of a gun, isn't it? A uh, long Lee Enfield rifle caught, carried by the 7th Battalion Royal Scots. Cover, recovered from the Quintus, Quintins Hill uh, Gretna train disaster on the 2nd of May 1915. Well, we saw that at the um, the uh, porridge factory, oh, Devil's yeah. Porridge. Yeah, yeah, we did. Quentin's yeah. Hill disaster, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Two, three trains collided, didn't they? That's right. Yeah. yeah. North of here, well, just over the border, isn't it? Yeah, really? yeah. Galloway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and the British Grenadiers in the Second World War. Strong winds and high waves. Many soldiers drowned. There would be little time to recover with replacement troops and swimming lessons for all ranks. The division <laughs> landed in Italy <laughs> that September. Oh, yeah. End of an empire. Post war. And the war in the Far East. And Burma. And national service. Post war. Northern Ireland travel scar, lights a bit bright. Oh, mm, about the Falklands. More recently, the fight against insurgents in Iraq and Afghanistan has brought some difficult assignments. In the regiment at home. Bosnia. Bosnia, yeah. And I-4. Yeah. 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 An Iraqi flag. They've got arrows there. Is that, is that, that really got arrows there? Yeah. yeah. That's like it. <laughs> Boys and arrows, four homemade pistols and homemade shotgun used by terrorists in the Cameroons in the 60s. Grief. Kalashnikov. Uh, oh, loads and loads of drums up there. I know. Well, drums everywhere. Yeah. Afghanistan. 
could spend a lot more time I think in that museum there mm. but um, certain parties wouldn't let us no but fed up didn't getting you? bored weren't you yeah want your lunch yeah but no definitely worth visiting and uh, even even now I mean you don't get to see all of the all of the build all of the castle but no I mean you don't go into that building there but there was a, a room where there was like a bedroom yeah and then there was like a a thing above a balcony above yeah that's right that's all closed off yeah so there's oh, a fair bit of it closed off still yeah but yeah definitely worth it I mean if you've got more time and you haven't got restless dogs <laughs> <laughs> You could certainly spend a lot more time here. Yeah. So if you like what you see, give us a thumbs up, remember to subscribe, and we'll catch up with you on the next one, which will be Lana Cost Priory. Yeah. And uh, hope you enjoy that. So see you soon. Well, this is very nice, isn't it? This is Bits Park. Yeah. This is where Quick Mary, Queen of Scots used to... I don't think she had this garden here. No, no, this lovely laid out path. But... Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. Yeah. Go on, Pop. Like little sculptures. Yeah, we think this is the River Eden, but I'm not absolutely I'll sure. I'll check it. I'll double check. It's a great big landslip here, look. A tree went in. Yeah. Yeah. And these banks are gradually getting eroded, aren't they? Ah, oh, right. Yeah, so that is the River Eden, and it flows all the way into the Solway Firth.